Stop the presses, gang. Got a special announcement. The Middle Class Famous Tour is in full effect. Get your tickies. Me, the bald one, the long hair. We're coming to a city near you. Mm -hmm. Bring the squad out. It's a great way to introduce people to the show. You get to see some stand-up. You get to play a little AYG with me and the Gipperino. It's a good time. Hit me up. Yeah, guys. We're going to be in Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Roseman. Guys, it's a great time. Can't wait to see you out there. Get your tickies now. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy mm -hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She is extremely excited for our guest. Uh, I was upstairs. She has a baby pool out in the backyard, and she's on the roof with a football helmet on. <laughs> okay. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He wears many toupees in the organization. <laughs> he is an international businessman. We love him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Just hit 40,000 subscribers. Uh, and then, obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage. Sign up. Get a bunch of content. It's fucking nice. Check it out. Very nice. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the target audience. Look at him. <laughs> T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McButtons, everybody. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm hyped one. up. Finally got someone rad down here yeah. to these normal bozos. Somebody kick me in the nuts. It's fire this thing up, though. To. Toby was out front in a shopping cart. Yeah. He's been chugging code red since last night. Because, gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today. We got a little star power mm -hmm. in the building. She is one of the stars of the juggernaut hit, Jackass Forever. Ooh. She is a very funny stand-up comedian and actor. But the big question in everybody's mind today, is she garbage? She's the only person I ever met that was bitten by a scorpion. <laughs> what? So we're going to go from there. <laughs> Give it up for Rachel Wolfson, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you, buddy. You. Thank you for coming in. We know you're running around. You're busy. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm happy to be here. Nice. This Fill us in on the scoop. I've heard a couple of things. Uh -huh. I've heard Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, yeah, born and raised in Las Vegas, which is, uh, you know, some would say that that could be a trash city. Um, I think everybody. Would yeah, I, think, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there's a lot of people. Yeah, in that's, that. that's 10 out of 10 yeah, Dennis right there. People people go there to get trashed, uh -huh. um, you know, and uh, so, yeah, I born and raised there. But not in the city city, right? Um, well, like you weren't going to high I'm, school at the Bellagio or anything like that. <laughs> no, I mean, um, we I'm, we ended up, as I got older, moving to the suburbs of Las Vegas. But you started out, you guys, you were in the city? I mean, my zip code is Las Vegas. Like, Las Vegas is wow. more than just the strip. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's, you know, surrounding areas and whatnot. And then like, as I got older and my parents started doing well, they mm -hmm. moved us to the suburbs. Did you, were you in an apartment when you, when you were first um, born? I, when I first born, I don't remember <laughs> if I was in an apartment or like, it was like She's a in the bridal suite. It was some like, <laughs> yeah. Circus, circus or something. I'm like, did Caesar's palace have a basement? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, you know, they were just starting off in their career when I was born. Okay. So, um, I mean, it, as as I got older, the um the living quarters got, got better. better. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I ever heard it referred to as living quarters. So that's pretty good. Because what I picture is either somebody lives like near the strip, like uh, like William H Macy in the cooler, or you live out in the kind of burbs like where yeah. De Niro lived in Casino. Right. That's what I'm picturing. Yeah. That's that you're 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 what you're picturing is accurate. Okay. Um. So yeah, I was born born and raised there, and uh, when I was 17, my parents sent me to a lockdown in. Provo, Utah, for a year. What's a lockdown? Uh, it's a, uh, it's like a, it's like a therapy. The term is technically a therapeutic boarding school. It's like a school for troubled youth, essentially. Oh. Do they like steal you in the middle of the night? Yeah. Really? Well, I didn't, nah. I didn't get, I didn't get escorted, but like a bunch of, a bunch of people did. Yeah, my parents wow. like dropped me off. Some, pa some have fun, Rachel. Right. <laughs> some, some parents would lie to their kids and be like, "We're going on a ski trip to oh. Utah." Jesus, mm -hmm. like the dog at the vet. That's right. Fucked like up. so fucked up. So uh, holy you, shit, my parents at least like I knew where I was going mm -hmm. but I didn't realize like what it was like when I got there so I was there for 
my senior year of high school. Were you looking forward to it at all? Or was no. it like, this what is... What was going on at I the mean, time? honestly... Okay, so I, I got caught sneaking out of the house and I was having like... I was just having issues at home and mm-hmm. um, I wasn't a good student. I was in my senior year and my parents were concerned about my future. Okay. Um, and so I think in their mind, they thought this would be a good place for me to have some structure and discipline. Um, and it, yeah, it was... It was um, Sucked. Yeah, it yeah. sucked. <laughs> I just saw her go back there. I'm yeah. like, all right, we got to get out of here. I mean, yeah, it was, yeah. So, um, but I, you know, I don't regret it. I think it, it made, it built my character. And was I it not, was it a nice facility? Uh, no. It, it was in an abandoned church that they, what? that they transformed into like a school for troubled kids. Oh, so, so not like yeah. the X-Men school. We're not talking about Oh, no, it's like not that. like Hogwarts or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was, I was there for, for 13 months and then I I graduated with my high school di- diploma there. Okay. Um and then I ended up going to college um in Vermont for 2 years. Okay. Uh at a school for kids who have learning differences. <laughs> okay. is is what the is what we call it now. <laughs> 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 Nicely played. She's had media training this one. I have, actually. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, When I was growing up, uh, people thought I was disabled. It just turns out I was different. Um, It's just very special. We got Um, rebranded. Shout out the marketing. Yeah, so um, so I was there for two years, and I I honestly, that's where I learned how to, like, write a paper, because I missed out. I I was just bad at school. I went to... Okay. My most of my high school and middle school was in a religious school setting, all kinds of religions. Like growing up pre K through eighth grade, I went to a Jewish school. My freshman year of high school, I was at a Catholic school. Whoa. What? Um, yeah, and then that I was there. What for, are your parents? Wait, what are your parents? My parents are Jewish. Um, we're not religious. Okay, but uh, yeah. So like, um, so then, but there was no Jewish high schools at the time, and. The Catholic school was like down near where they work, so it was like convenient for them. It was just not convenient for sure, me as yeah, a Jew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you have to pretend you were Italian walking around there? No, they like knew. Padre, hey, don't go to like, see they, you, buddy. They knew I was. They knew like they could. They could smell me. Like you know, um, something feels off yeah, in the church. Throwing like, holy yeah. water at her every day. <laughs> totally. Lock the doors. No one leaves. They're li- like as soon as I like got blamed for Jesus's death, I was like maybe I should. I feel like and I it was Rachel. Yeah, I'm like. Like, I, I think I should transfer to the an- fuck, I'm six. I Jesus. know. And so I ended up leaving there and going to a Lutheran school, which what is the- way. <laughs> Was there no public schools? What's happening out there? See, the public school in Vegas. It's probably dicey. Um, It's not. Well, it's just <laughs> like they're massive, dude. They're, oh, they're like really? small. I mean, it's like any other city. They're like 5,000 kids. I, wow. I would have gotten. Lost, lost in the yeah. system uh-huh, and i also had like you know school was really difficult for me so you needed sure. the extra attention yeah, yeah, yeah. so um so that so <laughs> my mom was like well we'll send you to this lutheran school um and i was there for like two and a half years and then that's when i got sent to the lockdown so um so i ended up going to college in vermont for two years is that what they call it is the lockdown it's a lockdown. I I call it a lockdown because you're not allowed to leave. You weren't allowed to leave. No, no, no. You you had to earn like you had to go through a program. You weren't even allowed shoes when you first got there because they were afraid you're gonna run. God Jeez. damn. Yeah. It's like kid prison, but I don't want to insult actual people who've gone to prison. I'm sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. it's it's like you know it, it, the the idea is to rehabilitate and re- Holy reform. Shit. I imagine the cafeteria sucked. Oh my god. There they served this one meal they called steak. <laughs> <laughs> But it was just like this gray piece of meat uh, that you could, yeah. I, and like there was always cats in the kitchen. So I'm just like, I don't what? know what, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I was ever really eating. Um, I, I had a bunch of homies who went to similar programs. Mm-hmm. They make you sleep on the ground outside. So there, a lot of these programs um, are associated with wilderness programs. And my parents, I, they didn't send me to a wilderness program, which, um, I was always curious about how that would have turned out for me because they send these kids to a program like that in the middle of winter to like march around all day and Crazy. set up tents what and like fuck? make their own food because it's like they're 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 doing like the Mori method you know they're like trying to scare you straight yeah 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 like how about and, gym class and a little kickball yeah no um <laughs> none of that um and and so like kids would like get sick or um have frostbite and would have to end up going to like 
being filtered into these um, facilities because Damn. they're indoor. Like one girl, I remember she came to us from a wilderness program and she showed up with Giardia. Do you know what that is? <laughs> no. You get it from drinking dirty water. So she Ooh. was like drinking from the rivers and the creeks, not thinking um, maybe I shouldn't Jeez. be doing that. And she ended up getting like, I think it's like a virus or a disease or something. Like you have it forever. Shit. You have it forever? Yeah, she. I think she has it. I think you God have damn. it forever. I don't know. But anyway, so I so I was there for... So I, I, I left there. I graduated. I got out. And then um, I was in Vermont for two years. I graduated from there. And then I transferred to American D.C. in Washington University. That's a great school. It's a great school. But I was definitely the dumbest person in all my classes. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I don't know. I just... I thought maybe... I would go into either um, like TV news reporting because I was in the school of communications, um, which to me is like such a joke when you tell people you're a communication major. major. Yeah. Uh, um, and then um, I was there for about a year and I realized like the um, becoming a TV news reporter is not how it seems on TV. Like when you, you they make you cut your hair, you have to move to Kentucky and report on animals. You have to do and, these like weird markers. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. I I just was like, no, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, you have to like start out working like the B clubs. Oh, it's you know the what worst. I mean? You can't worst. just start headlining <laughs> No, it. you're not in LA, you're not in New York, you're in fucking Alabama yeah. and- um, You're not walking in a 30 Rock, you're doing, no. the, doing, yeah. doing the weather in a, Minneapolis. A buddy right. of mine was a weatherman and he had to start out like in some, you know, like Omaha or some bumblefuck yeah. city in the middle of nowhere and like work his way up the ranks yeah and and so um and so i i was there for like a year and then i remember looking on social media and seeing a bunch of my classmates who i'd gone to school with in vermont move down to florida to finish up their schooling and they were on like yachts and boats mm -hmm. and I, i'm fucking freezing my ass in dc and hadn't seen the sun in three weeks so mm -hmm. i like i told my parents i was like listen like i think i need to <laughs> I think I need to like take my talents elsewhere. <laughs> like she's LeBron. <laughs> to South Florida. <laughs> I'm going to Miami. I need to go to South Florida. Mom, dad, I'm going to become a free agent next year. Yeah. And so uh, I moved down to Florida where I was like literally the smartest person in all my classes. <laughs> I imagine um, this is where the story's going to take a little bit of a left turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down, there, down there in FLA. So I was there. Uh, I finished up school. I got my master's. I started working in the restaurants. Jesus, um, you got your master's. Oh, yeah. So you got your bachelor's from American University. I got my bachelor's from uh, Lynn University in Florida. I, I, I took my um, the whatever credits I managed to get in D.C. and transferred them okay. down to, to Florida. Um, got my bachelor's, got my master's. It's pretty um, good. Yeah, was working in and out the restaurants during college. I mean, I, I worked in and out the hospitality industry since I was 15. My mom made sure as soon as I could work, I would. Go to, working, I would start yeah. working. Okay. Um, and that was in Vegas? Yeah. One of my first Anywhere jobs cool? was the pool attendant at the Venetian. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I would give people towels. Um, That's all right. What's the tip situation like Dude, over it, there? I remember like <laughs> my first big tip was when my dad surprised me at work and just gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I thought you were going to say some Japanese high roller was yeah. greasing you like so five whale, grand for a bottle some, of Pellegrino. Some whale came Yeah. <laughs> Dad showed up and him, gave me yeah. twenty. That's great. He was, uh, yeah. I think you know he felt bad, but um, yeah. So, so I when I was in college, when I was finishing up my master's, I was working as a hostess at um, a restaurant in downtown Boca Raton, and the owner of that restaurant hired me to come work for his other company, was which was an organic pizza corporation. Okay. And I was to be the social media manager, which for a stoner is like okay, dream job. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out, tweeting all day. Yeah, just like <laughs> tweeting pizza. Um. And so I worked there for a while. And then at a certain point, I just like realized that um, like I had reached kind of like where I was going to be in Florida. Like no one around me worked. Um, no one has to work. I don't get that down there. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. When so you're, hanging, you're hanging out with rich kids. Oh, I mean, like I'm hanging out with kids who either have like family companies they can work at if they if they got their shit together or just kids who didn't have to work. And I just didn't share that. Um, I just don't come from that. Like, was, yeah. it, was that what a lot of the people at the Vermont school was? It, it was more. It was more of a rich kid school. Vermont, not necessarily. Like Vermont was a lot of kids who who had learning differences. Gotcha. Who, who uh, that was, ver but school, but Lynn University is okay. like very much. Um, yeah, it's like you're going around. You're you're going to school. I mean, there's a range always because you have kids from all different sure. backgrounds. But the majority, like, it has a reputation for having like significantly wealthy children going. There. Okay, yeah. so far this sounds pretty classy. Yeah, a little bit of hiccup with the yeah. uh, with the outward bound. Yeah, but other than that, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, so um, 
so yeah, then um, I told my boss and I was like, I just, I, I want to move out to LA. This was in 2013. Uh, and my boss was very cool and let me work remotely as I transitioned to LA. Oh, that's awesome. So at least I, I came to LA with a, job, with a job. There you go. You know, and then I just like took every job I could in Los Angeles while I was doing that. I, I mean, I, I did all kinds of things. Not like anything weird, but. <laughs> the um, way you were setting it up sounded yeah, like, you, no, were just, like you were a hitman for two years. I'm just remembering like all the, du- like it, in, in retrospect, I'm like, wow, that was like su- such a, like, what was that? You know what I mean? Sure. Um, of I, I worked in and out of the restaurants. I did social media marketing for clients and things like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I did what I could to, to, to make money and um, kind of network myself out in LA. That's great. She's pretty classy. You got brother, I know. <laughs> brothers like and go-getter. sisters? I have a sister. She is a lawyer. She's five years younger than me. Okay. Uh, followed in the parents' footsteps. What does your mom and dad do exactly? Um, so my mom is. So my mom is a mediator. She used to be a judge. Okay. She used to be. Uh, she was a judge that put O.J. Simpson in prison for the robbery case. Whoa. What? Yeah. In Las oh, Vegas. All right. Here we go. Yeah. And then that's uh, also like the you know it's that's kind of a trashy crime to be known for though <laughs> for sure you know what I mean. What are you talking about? She's judge in Vegas. <laughs> I know. What I'm just saying. She push a button she's on you. Who, she's the guy who put OJ in jail. Yeah. So a great line. So um so there's so the, so, so and that was then a my dad. Call, by the way. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then my dad is currently the district attorney of Las Vegas. Damn. What? Yeah. Holy, Holy shit. So. So we get hemmed up in Vegas. We got a friend get get us out. I I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because, <laughs> like, if I got in trouble in Vegas, my parents would be like, "Uh, we don't know you." I'm like, "But we share the same last name." Yeah, <laughs> must be from out of town. We never seen her before. Yeah. All right, so that 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 paints the picture a little, a little bit more. Well, they were pretty persistent about that, and it seems like it worked out. Everything you got your fucking master's degree, got a good work yeah. ethic, got an education. Class, yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, and then I started comedy in 2016 so three years after i got to la was your so that's your, only your sister right you said mm-hmm. you only had one sister one mm-hmm. younger sister uh was that your family out there like cousins and shit or was it just you guys out there in vegas uh no my well i have my aunt uh my grandpa's out there so your whole family's out there uh part of part of parts of my family and were they there. there did your your mom and dad grow up there or are they just my mom ended is there? uh my mom is born in new york um went uh, when she was 12, she moved to Georgia, and my dad is from Los Angeles, so I have L.A. and New York. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Pretty classy so far, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the finger tattoos, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> they, look like, they look like she got it at the, at the lockup place. This one I did. No, this one I got in, va- or one of these I got in, not the lockdown, but in Vegas. Did you get any? Oh, wait. Go ahead. Oh! oh! There we go. Lip Yikes. tattoos. In case anyone's wondering my trash level. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get that in Boca Raton. <laughs> no, I, I got it that. in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Is that the Vegas area code on your wrist? It is. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. Do you have any, does anybody gamble in your family? Does everybody like to gamble? Mm, no. no. No, nothing like that? Mm-mm. Nobody working security at, uh, at Harris or anything? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Hmm. Did you get in any trouble when you were in the lockup? Any riots or anything like that? Uh, Making your own booze or I, anything? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, did you shank anybody? Let's no, get to it. But I did kiss a boy, um, <laughs> which was a huge no-no. Ooh, gross. Am I right? <laughs> it was a huge no-no. I'm huge listening. Huge no-no because they tried to keep us separate. It was a co-ed school, but they very much did not want us to like really interact sure. with each other. And like getting co-ed privileges, like that was something that was rare and we had to earn as like supervised visits with the other, with the opposite sex. Damn. Kip, let's talk about Box Awesome, baby. Box O Awesome? I'm talking about Bespoke Post. Don't be a bozo. The best post in the world is that Bespoke Post. They are. I tell you what, those Box of Awesomes ain't too shabby. Nah. It's the winner, whatever you're into, outdoor stuff. If you like grooming materials, if you like things for your home bar, every month they send you a literal Box of Awesome. Yeah. If I told you once, I told you a thousand times, they sent us gear and we're using it. We got the cool duffel stuff. bag. I take on a row with me. I got a knife that I open up all my Amazon packages with. Woo-hoo. Pocket knife, martini shake. Feel like Crocodile Dundee in my apartment. I got it on my belt. <laughs> all small businesses, all handcrafted and fantastic. Yeah, uh, it's free to sign up and you can skip a month at any time. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's new guy, sh- it's cool guy shit you didn't know you knew until you, you don't, you didn't know you need until you see it. I'm sure it's super expensive though, right? Uh, no, because you know why? You get 20 
20% off your first what? monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the promo code garbage at the checkout. That's boxofawesome.com. Code garbage for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com. Code garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kirby, let's talk about Helix. Uh, you know I'm a Helix man. Yeah, I, I know you're a Helix it. man. I could use a mattress over here. All right, I'm laying on old dirty laundry. And word on the street, best night sleep of your life with a Helix Ooh. mattress. You don't got to go to the mattress store and walk around with some bazo. Over there in a, you know, a button-up short sleeve shirt and a clip-on tie. You go over there to the website, easy peasy. You take the quiz. They find out how you like to You're sleep. probably going, the quiz is probably what, 20, 25 minutes? Two minutes, two three minutes, minutes sleep quiz. You take a two minute sleep quiz. Hit got, them up. I got hit. Uh, uh, I got. I got Matt. Me and me, me and a bird took it. We got matched up with the Twilight mattress and baby. It's like Twilight every night. I'm fucking twinkle toes over there. In that now bed. you sleep bald. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> and bottomless. Uh, everyone's unique, and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from: soft, medium, firm mattresses. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Great for spinal alignment, prevent morning aches and pains. Don't and forget they, the big fellas. They even got Helix Plus mattresses for the big man. Uh, so if you're looking for a new mattress, check out Helix Sleep. Helix was awarded number one best overall mattress pick by 20 in, of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Take your two-minute sleep quiz. They'll match you with a customized mattress and give you the best sleep of your life. Uh, Ten-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. We'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but I'm telling you, it's got the KP stamp of approval. You're going to love it. Yeah. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattresses, all off all mattress orders, and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, that's helixsleep.com slash garbage. Do it. Yes. Um, I never got caught for kissing a boy there, but I did get caught. So when my parents came to visit, um, my sister, I used her <laughs> cell phone to check my voicemails. This was back in the day where, uh, yeah, people were still leaving voicemails, and she caught me checking my voicemail because a lot of my friends didn't know what happened to me. I just was like, whoa, take like they were like, really? what happened to her? <laughs> and so um, she caught me checking my voicemail. And because she was younger and she was like under, you know, my parents, um, you know, I don't want to say spell, but uh, influence. She told on me and I had to stay there longer. Jesus. And I got and I got I got. Um, so like in lockdown, if you get in trouble, they give you consequences. That's what they're called. And the consequences don't sound good. are a half hour of either um, working out, intense working out, uh, homework, or um, uh, cleaning the tampon boxes in oh, the bathroom. God damn. Yikes. They ever put you in the hole? They have a hole there? They did. They had they a did? hole. They had a hole. 30 days in a hole. Jesus. They had, I'm it's sitting called, next to Cool Hand Luke over it's here. It's called um, ISU, Isolation Unit, Intense Supervision, intense supervision Unit. Um so ISU, I, I went there once because uh, when I was there, I was, um, they, so I was diagnosed when I was 12 with being bipolar, okay. but I actually uh, was misdiagnosed and mismedicated for it. So I was, I was on medication at the time that in retrospect, I didn't need to be on. Okay. And so they, they started to take me off the medication, but it, it really wasn't the best environment for me to be doing that. Sure. And so um, something triggered me. While I was like going off in this process at school, I think I was working on English and the teacher wanted me to work on math, which I'm like, I'm not working on math, bro. Like, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then we got into it and I had a fucking meltdown and they put me in the ISU for probably a couple hours. But a couple there, hours. Would, there would be people, they would have to tranquilize um, kids. kids. Yeah. Damn, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. That's weird that they, because the way you make it sound, like it's in the church, there's cats running around, but yet these people have access to tranquilizers? Um, well, they have, they have like, doc they had doctors. Uh, well, I mean, like a lot of the, the students there are on medication. So they had to have gotcha. people around because we, you know, we all have behavioral problems and everyone treats those differently. So I also think there's a lot of, the, like, this happened a lot in like the, Nine, like it's coming out now that these places were like not fantastic. Oh yeah, like, they were well, like they're like absolutely horrible and well, for profit. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. For profit. yeah. So for like us. Paris Hilton went to one down the road from me. I think years before I went to, but it's in the same town because in this town of Provo, Utah, they have an they have a ton of these schools for whatever reason. I think Idaho has some, and like mm -hmm. they even have some like in Mexico, like. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> sure. Yes. What, out of the country? Yeah, dude. That's and, like Guantanamo. And like that's, horrible That's like a things. CIA black site. Horrible. Like all over. I mean, there's there's so many, because these, these are money makers. I mean, like yeah, kids want to send 
parents. It's all like government contracts away. and shit you get. Right, and some Yikes. kids are court ordered there, so I'm wondering if like judges maybe get kickbacks for those, and then like obviously some people, their parents and families send them there. So, um, Damn. so yeah, it was um, it was a intense place. Damn, that's serious business. The whole. I used to get my parents would get pissed off if I got detention. That's hilarious. Jesus. Yeah, you don't know how good you got it, fatty. So, okay, you're riding, <laughs> <laughs> you went to high school at Shawshank. Jesus Christ! Hilarious. That's crazy, dude. Huh. There was some, there was some crazy shit like that that happened there, for sure. Can, dude, your heart is nailed. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no. Unbelievable. That is crazy. But let's get into some more of you garbage questions here. Hell yeah! All right, let's run down a couple of things. Um. Your parents don't live in the same street that you grew up on, right? You guys no. are sitting. What was the name of the first street where you were born, your first house? Carly Drive. That's pretty good. Not bad. Was it an apartment or a house? I, I, want, I think it was a house. I don't remember. But in I, Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what grocery store would your mom go to out there? <laughs> Probably like uh, a Vaughn's or Albertson's or... Just eat at the buffet every day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what the. Yeah, I don't know. Would you guys ever go to the casinos for like and a family dinner? dinner. Out? Oh yeah, for sure. We actually had to live in a in one of the hotels um, up by us, not like one on the strip, because our house got mold in it. Okay, like Ooh. black mold. Because when they built my parents' shower, they just did it incorrectly, and so like water, and, like it. They kept having a leak. We would be sitting down in the kitchen. And you just see this like leak occurring in yeah. the ceiling, I and so they would try. Too. They would try to like repair it, but they didn't realize they had to go deeper. So at one day, they like cut open the shower, and it was just a wall of ants. Everybody oh. get out mm-hmm. of ants, Jesus. ants, dude. Because it was they were just like feasting on like whatever rotted. It was just like disgusting. Um, so we had to move out of the house. They they had to like dry clean like the. It wasn't their fault it was the builder's fault so the builders had to like come in redo it pay for all of everything to get like did you have one of those tents over your house oh yeah what yeah dude it was on the in like they did it all on the the inside inside. they covered everything because like you have to get every article of clothing like cleaned too yikes it's like bed bugs yeah no shit horrible vegas bed bugs so like my that was my junior year of high school and so we stayed up at the sun coast hotel which is a local casino um, and like, I just smelled, I just smelled like smoke every day going yeah. to school. <laughs> Typical Vegas, you know? Sorry, I was at the tables all morning. Yeah. What do you want from me? Holy shit. Oh. So that's pretty trashy. Like going to school, you're 17, you smell like cigarettes. Yeah, I mean, if you're leaving a casino to go to high school, that's yeah. a bad look. Yeah. Did any of your homies in high school sneak in, like play underage and win any, like a substantial amount of cash? No, dude, that's like, they, like. Even if you look young, there's people checking, like you don't even like walk. They'll make sure you're not like doing that anywhere though. near the thing. Yeah, if you even look young, they'll come right up to you and check your ID because they could get fucked. Do up. you have any of your friends' parents get jammed up at the casinos at the tables? <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, you think... know anybody who's blacklisted or anything? Oh, yeah, I don't know if uh if I, I like off the top of my head, I don't, but I know my parents for sure do. I mean, you know, people come there and they they like spend their kids save like yeah. they're, they're safe. They, you know it's a real you ever seen anybody there's a dark aspect oh to yeah 100 percent. you ever seen anybody pawning anything or anything like that seen anyone what pawning anything oh pawning um, do you know the guys from pawn stars oh do you know the guys oh, my dads do my dad what? my dad's my dad does <laughs> probably there we go he probably my dad arrested is friends them. with them no they're like homies they're really? homies got yeah, chumley yeah. on a dui yeah. Yeah. they're now homies he's in my pocket they're homies. Chumley, sure. Chumley likes the meth, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're, my dad definitely know. He knows uh, He knows those guys. Rick Harrison? Is that the dad? Whoever Woo! the dad is. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, well, the old man. Yeah. He passed away, though. Or probably. Yeah, the guy main too. guy is Rick. Rick. The best I can, you know, it's valued at $14 million, The best I can do is 20 bucks. Do you want it? <laughs> Damn. Wow. Oh, that's pretty Your good. family knows the people from Pawn Stars. I that's know. nuts. Did you ever see Siegfried and Roy when you oh, were a yeah. kid? Oh yeah! Really? My it was one of my birthdays. My my parents took me. They got backstage. I got to meet them. I got a stuffed tiger. Ooh! Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Do you know anybody that was at the performance where we got mauled? Um, I don't know anyone who was there. Okay. But I do remember that happening. That was sad. Yeah, Did you ever sad. watch like implosions of buildings? Oh yeah! I went to go see. <laughs> I went to go see. I think it was the Stardust. <laughs> Or yeah, I saw it live. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Whole family, Should've everybody go. Oh, it was me uh, and a boyfriend at the time. It was like it was at night. It was it was insane. I always That's wanted a pretty to go. sick date. Yeah. yeah, 
It was cool. Go to Dave and Buster's and go watch him blow up this building. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, good pull, Kippy. That's great. I love those. Growing up, what did your parents keep the batteries in the refrigerator? No. Okay. I don't think so. Anybody in your family call it a banana? <laughs> <laughs> or a turlet? <laughs> no, they're normal. Okay. Have you ever bought or sold anything on Craigslist? I have definitely bought something off Craigslist. A chair. Recently? No. Okay. Before the pandemic. And it was such a hassle because... So, like, um, I'm too cheap to buy anything from Z Gallery because it's so expensive. So, I'll buy shit from Z Gallery off Craigslist. Like, you know. Um, and I bought this couch. Or it was a, it's a chair. I still have it. But it was, it was so difficult to get. Like, no one I knew in L.A. had a car that could, like... Fit it. Fit it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then like moving it into the building because it's so oddly shaped. It was it's the worst purchase. Did you of haggle my life. <laughs> um, at all, or you just play? Will you pay face value, or do you haggle? No, no, no. I think it, I didn't buy it for like what she bought it for, but I, I. Um, you got it at a discounted rate. Yeah. Okay. When you uh, when you buy stuff at the grocery store, will you reach for the item behind the first one, or will you take the first? It one? It depends on what the item is. Let's lay it on me. So if it's something like a milk based or something that I feel like could give me food poisoning, You're I'll probably back. go or you know I'll probably I yeah. want the freshest one, the you coldest know? one, yeah, okay. or the cold, yeah, especially in a in a gas station. I'm like, oh, the the first water is not cold, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna reach all the way back there. Yeah, you know, smart, nice. very yeah. good. You gotta stay on top of these things. Yeah. Hmm. You think it's okay to use tissues as napkins? Listen, when in doubt, <laughs> sometimes if you don't, you know, so I will use tissues as toilet paper. Ooh, uh-huh. I, I did that last if I, week. Not because I want to, but because sometimes you run out of options. Yeah, you're jammed I, up. I would yeah. tear right through that. That would be not a good look. Well, that's what, you use a handful. I use a paper towel. Oh God, that's the chafage. <laughs> See, at least the, the I like the, com- the I like the comfort and the support tissues of it. has some like uh, lotion on it. There's some lubrication. Yeah, you get you, one of the ones with uh, Vicks on there. You could be yeah, mm, you're right. You're stinging. right. Hmm. If we went to your house right now, what kind of water could you offer us? Bottled? What are you? What are you? What are you working with? Um. So w- I just got a, a updated, um, pure like you know those little skinny ones that give out purified, that they, they're filtered water. So is I it hooked that. up to the faucet? It is. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I have that. Um. That's all. That's good. So 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 when I because it broke and when the guy came to fix it. He was like, yeah, you're supposed to change the filter every six months. Like the filter of it was really was black. Sure, yeah, yeah, I course. might as well have been drinking tap water. Like <laughs> at that point, it's the healthier option. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me ask you this. You have you, you have the option of one of these. What are you taking? Mm-hmm. A regular cone, a sugar cone, a waffle cone or a pretzel cone? Ooh. Um... There is a right answer. <laughs> Although I don't disagree with it. So, you know, it's non partial. I've never even heard of a pretzel cone, so I would probably go with that just because I've never even heard of it. Okay. I'm willing to try anything. Okay. Pretzel cone's pretty good. Correct answer, regular cone. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Answer. I don't agree with that. The gentleman, we'll the lady, talk in the next goes for meeting. the regular cone. No. Yeah. Pretzel cone. You live a little. Yeah. You go pretzel cone? Yeah, it's got the salt. It's nice. Toby? Um, never heard of a pretzel cone? I'd probably go sugar cone. Mm. It's a gentleman's move, too. Doing a show well. with fucking bozos over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any beekeepers in the family? Beekeeper? No, no beekeepers. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Have you ever ridden a mechanical bull? Uh, I don't think I have. Okay. Have you yeah. attended a rodeo? Have I attended a rodeo? I can't remember if I don't think I have. NASCAR event. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no NASCAR. Air show. No air show. Boat show. Regatta. Um, I've been to a car show. Okay. Any monster truck rallies in there? Uh, I believe in lockdown they took us to one of those. Yeah, I got to see a monster Grave truck Grave digger rally. in the hole, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. Have you ever been to a live magic show? Yeah, of course. I'm from Vegas. Yeah. Lance Burton. She probably got sold in half, this yeah. girl. <laughs> Have you ever Burton. met Chris Angel? Uh, And or Carrot Top. And fortunately, I have not met those two Vegas legends, um, but there, I'm hoping there's still time for me. What know? about Wayne Newton? You ever, you ever go see Wayne Newton? No. No Wayne Newton. You ever strong arm a blackjack dealer to play ball? <laughs> nope. Not good. Uh, I, I, when it comes to that, I'm so bad at math. Um, and like, <laughs> She's hitting on 34. I just, uh, 
I wouldn't even. Yeah, I, I yeah. Numbers not good for me. What were the family vacations like? For the oh, Wolfsons? those are dope. Those okay. are okay. Yeah. Lay it on us. Where so would you like, go? International as a kid. Oh yeah. So your parents were doing in the beginning. They so started out. People. So they okay. So my mom. When she met my dad, was a TV news reporter. Okay, and my okay. dad Wait, in Vegas, local. So she started off in radio and then moved out to Vegas and started working in radio and TV. Whoa! So she was like a local celebrity, like Yuki Washington in she, Philly. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think she. Um, I don't. I, I don't know how popular she. I wasn't even alive then. So she was reporting on stories in the courthouse, and my dad was a prosecutor, like a young new lawyer prosecutor. And he would pass like her. A movie. This he sounds steamy. Her, I'll tell you that right in, now. In the hallways, and he would he would say, "I'm going to marry that girl." Ooh, yeah. I'm already thinking about casting. I like a young <laughs> I like a young Andy Garcia from Mr. Wilson. Hilarious. Um. <clears throat> so what was the what was the question? I don't know. I forget. You got yeah, yeah. all, all this I'm court about drama. Oh, my vac- the vacations, vacations, <laughs> vacations. So, uh, so I'm all steamed up over here. So they yeah. So like you know they were doing well as I was growing up. Right. So they started taking us. Um on vacations and um uh sometimes they would bring a babysitter so they could like <laughs> that's a little bit of cash they would uh so they could like you know enjoy their vacation sure. which I'm like, just don't bring us you know what i mean um but the but Ooh, there's, okay there's a coldness but to that, the, that i like too but the babysitter they would so you're thinking like an au pair the people they would hire to watch us were criminals like literally trash we had this one nanny we had this one babysitter Some snitch from the vegas PD's i don't even office. want to call her a nanny yeah, she was a, a straight up she was a straight up babysitter as soon as she got to the hotel she raided the mini bar because she thought those were for free she had never gone on sure you know so my dad goes down and this is the night. Hold on, where are you guys at well, give me i think we're in mexico okay and so all-inclusive resort i don't remember um, I I don't know if it was or not, but she took everything out of the mini bar, and my dad goes downstairs, and he's like, "Why do I have a four hundred dollar charge in the in the girls' room for for alcohol?" And so, um, I think he made her put it back. But like in the nineties, four hundred dollars for for is like a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, it's you know? insane. It's a lot of money. So now. you guys would have two rooms. They would have their room, and then you and your sister would be in with the nanny. Yeah, with the Ooh. babysitter. I, n- nanny sounds nanny. classy. This yeah. woman chain smoked and fucking that's drank. A ba- that's a babysitter. And yeah. fucking like she. Okay, so you want to hear trash? Shit you you want to hear food? trash? Here's what. Ha- so growing up. Sh- Sherry is her name, and um, she was the worst. Um, so my That's parents, my parents would go, you know, have date night or something, and Sherry would drive us to go. Well, she would drive us to her friend's house, leave us in the car while she would go play poker. Whoa. <laughs> like your that parent- is not a nanny. <laughs> Did you guys tell your parents this when they got home? I would home? try to like. I I was so young that I I don't even think I could like articulate. Like yeah, you didn't know things. what just happened. You know, she's in there I'm playing fucking she, Texas yeah. Hold'em. And so, and so, but I did try to communicate to them, like, hey, some of the people you're hiring are not like, they're not like, they're not like qualified to watch children. Like they, my mom at one point got so desperate, she hired a guy named Scott to watch. That's us. not good. <laughs> that is not good. I don't have kids, but that's a no go. And he was the worst dude. Like he is not a fucking babysitter. It's, his name's Scott. Yeah. Like, <laughs> No, there's no. I'll take I'll take a sherry any day of the week. Yeah. yeah, I hear Scott's coming over. I'm under the bed. Hey, you kids want to learn how to make long distance calls for free? <laughs> like I feel like like rich kids like they hire nannies to teach their kids like Spanish and Italian. Like okay, my, I got like, you. Nannies also in, uh, nanny a nanny also implies like a longer duration of hire. Right. Like, that was my nanny all through my childhood. A yeah. babysitter's like nannies wear uniforms. Come and go, right? Yeah, yeah. like Scott has a leather jacket, right? And delivers pizza and while he's shorts. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Scott wears shorts. Yeah, cut off ones. Cut off shorts. Not how old was Scott? Um, probably at that time he's got he probably was in his like thirties or forties. That's 40s. so oh fucking God. weird. God. It's weird, dude. It's fucking weird. You're lucky you didn't get kidnapped. Yeah. Oh, Scott was the worst. No, Scott was like he was like he was like the boyfriend of a mom's like. <laughs> That's, that's that's even, even weirder. Worse. Yeah. Of my mom's friend. So um Oh, you yeah. know, Scott Moonlights is a babysitter. Yeah. What the fuck? He's a manny. He's a manny. <laughs> Man. But um, yeah. Jesus. That's t- that's See, oh, the money doesn't guarantee it. it. Look at that right there. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have something in your life that's holding you back, all right, whether it's a relationship. Uh, whether it's uh, trouble at work, whatever you need, BetterHelp can help. 
Because you got to remember something. The most important relationship you have in your life is with yourself. Yes. You got to take care of yourself and better help can help. They got your back. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Nope. If you're a little shy guy, a little shy gal, that's easy peasy. You do it all via text or, or voicemail, whatever. It's much more affordable than in-person uh, therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours, so it's real easy to get started. Plus, give they it, have specialists that might not be available in your area. Yeah, so give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and all you garbage listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash garbage. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about athletic greens. Athletic greens for these guns, You don't baby. know nothing about Look at those pipes Hit right me there. Hit me up. That's about, that's about 25% athletic greens right there, kids. <laughs> Russ McDonald's. Hit me up. <laughs> I've been using it every day. Yeah. I take it to the gym. It's easy peasy. It tastes Guy's great. Guy's even got a green shirt on. He's all green over I'm here. all green, man. I'm all, I'm all AG1, baby. You get your vitamins. You get your gut health. You get your immunity. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm telling you, my workouts are better. Okay, I know I'm a big, big fatty, but Athletic Greens has helped me change that. My workouts are better when I have that with me to have to sip in between when, when, when I'm getting huge, doing my reps. <laughs> when I'm getting swole down Doing here. my goblet <laughs> squats and my DB presses. Look out. Uh, guys, everybody's taking some sort of multivitamin, this, that, the other thing, and they're taking 15. It's a one-shop stop. Taking 15 pills a, a day. You don't have to do that. AG1's got you covered. It's lifestyle-friendly, whether you're doing keto, paleo, vegan-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, no artificial anything. Still tastes good. Uh, right now is the time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a com with a convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. Just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash garbage. Again, one more time, that's athleticgreens.com slash garbage to take ownership of your health today. Do it. Get Back some. to the show. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Hmm. You're, You're staying in, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Please. You're staying in a lot of hotels lately or traveling around a little bit? Um, uh, mm, am I staying in a lot of hotels? Swing and no. a miss, Foley. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I did. I understand you're getting older. <laughs> I got, uh, I, for the first. I took a shot. What do you want? For like two, two days on this trip, I got put up via, for the, for the press. And do stuff. you drink the coffee in the rooms? I, yeah. Hell you yeah. You use that really? coffee machine? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I order coffee coffee from room service yeah. yeah yeah that's what i was getting at. if i if it, if i was paying for it little, if i was paying players. for it i drink the coffee <laughs> really oh, i would i don't fucking touch that thing no i Never. i would definitely i would definitely probably order it downstairs for so sure. hold on so mex just to go backwards mexico would be a trip to, that, that you went on mm -hmm. as a kid where else where else would you guys go um pro, uh we went to jamaica okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um what age are we talking like 10, 11, 12, uh, 16. I was young enough. Um, I was I was young. I was like definitely under 16. Because there was a point where we just misbehaved so bad on vacation that they were like, we're not bringing you kids anymore. Like, really? Yeah. Um, w like my sister and I would fight or it was just, it's it's a lot. It's I a got lot. you. Like a vacation is supposed to be relaxing. And Me bring, and my brother ruined so many vacations. Yeah, so many. Like I literally, like I just hear it in, in my mind, them threatening like no more vacations for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like we're not doing that anymore. Um, hmm. But yeah, I think uh, J Jamaica, Mexico, uh, yeah, that's so you got your passport at a young age. Yeah, I had a passport. I had a passport. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty classy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you went to a restaurant and you didn't like the table you got, will you ask for a different table? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, my dad, my parents, like my dad is six five, and really? his, it's so and and so for him, he doesn't like to sit with his back towards the door mm -hmm. he likes to you know he likes to be comfortable too he says yeah, jews, and, jews and it. italians don't sit with their yeah, back italians towards the don't door. like yeah, yeah, yeah and awesome. vegas da's yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly yeah. his head could end up in that plate of pasta real quick <laughs> no shit yeah but i mean uh it depends i like, like that like if, if there is like if there's a table they give us and it's like the whole restaurant is empty and it's a shit or it's like, you know, I'll be yeah. like, hey, can we just go to that one? Sure. So. I just started doing that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it, if it's a busy, if it's busy, no, I'm whatever. Because I worked in restaurants and I know, like, you know, like, sometimes they're reserving. Sometimes they just of say course. you can't yeah, sit there. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you just, it's all, it's all about asking and being and the situation nice. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Damn. I'm Irish. They can put me in like next to the dumpster. I'm like, yeah, this is fine. Thank Hilarious. you. That's just a grease trap. All right, thanks. <laughs> Love it. We'll pay extra. To mm. pee in the shower? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Brush your teeth in the shower. He does. My, my boyfriend does, which I, I, I'm i always like, why is the toothpaste in the shower? Do you um, keep the toothbrush in there? Yes. Uh, it ah, travels. <laughs> that's a bad look. <laughs> He's hmm. sitting like Scott the, the babysitter day, on the couch. I know. Right He's got real Scott vibes, <laughs> dude. That's what I picture Scott yeah. looking like. Oh, he, you, you would be that. You, you would be a great Scott. Um, no, the other day, uh, I, I realized halfway through that I was using his toothbrush. Oh. Um, How do you feel about that? Stop. You're okay with it. Same germs. Right. <laughs> How do you're fine with it? Yeah. No. Me too. I'm cool with it. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. You can't use your wife's toothbrush. I could. I would. Um, uh, yeah, I'd be feel weird for a couple of days. I felt weird for a second, but I was like, no, nah, I mean. Once that second's over, it's, ar- it's it. already too late. He's into it. He's into it. That's mm-hmm. how he gets his rocks off. It's our, <laughs> it's our toothpaste. Oh, I like that. <laughs> what kind of toothpaste are we working with? Uh, Whatever's fucking cheap or free. I don't know. Okay. Crest? Uh, or crest? Right. Are we a crust family? Yeah. Would you say you're frugal when it comes to cash? Um. It depends. No, I mean, I, I'm a spender. Like, if it comes to weed, I buy the best weed. Um, <laughs> yeah, your boyfriend almost had a spit take on yeah. that question. <laughs> I am not. I'm not frugal. Keep away from the computers, will you? I don't think I'm frugal. I don't think I'm frugal. I don't think I'm frugal. No. Was there an irresponsible purchase with your first big check? Uh, With my first big check, res- any, no. Um, Jet skis, well, anything like no, that? No, I have that. I just spent the 20 your dad gave you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I spent that on some weed. No. <laughs> I, I didn't even smoke weed back then. Probably like, um, I don't even know. Food. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you travel first class? Fly first class? Okay. If so you're buying. No. No. But on the way out here. I got hooked up, and now nice. I got I got a little taste of the Delta it's all One, right. a little, and I was like, I can't fly. I've, I've been ruined. Like I I can't I can't sit. In, I'm I'm just like emotionally trying to prepare myself for having to like go back to the coach. Yikes. You know. Um. So I got my. I've never flown first class until this trip, and I'm like, wow. Uh, How much better is the food up there? Oh my god! I had a charcuterie. In the yeah. air, <laughs> They're, they should be on two different planes. It's I that don't different. even understand. I'm like, how is this? Yeah, I mean, I was sleeping on a. Pl- I was laying like flat. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm spoiled. Oh, I also kind of... went. To, I also they like. Uh, you know, Jackass took us to our first. Well, to my first UFC fight, and okay. I we had the best seats in the house. Like That's literally, awesome. the only people sitting in front of us was Joe Rogan. Nice. Like, and who's the, that? Exactly. Uh, no, <laughs> but I'm. I mean, I could see his head. You know, I could like see the shine, That's and I was wild. very, very close. Um, um. So now I'm ruined for that forever. Like, how am I supposed to go back from yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Hmm. Are you TSA pre-check? Um. I'm. Uh. What is that? Clear. What, clear. I just got clear because with okay. with comedy and traveling. So I I opened for my friend Felipe Esparza. Is really nice. really great comedian, and he's the one who showed me. Um. Clear. Clear. Mm-hmm. What's the credit score like? I don't even have a credit card. Really? What? No. You don't just have a credit card. card. I just do debit. It scares the fuck out of me. Wow. Yeah. Have you never had a credit card? No. Holy nope. shit. I think my parents gave me like a, a small, just like for emergencies, because I was on the East Coast and they were they were scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it had like a limit on it, but um, it's, it, they took that shit away years ago. You don't got an Amex, Capital One, nothing? Mm-hmm. Wow. I got a Visa, baby. Okay. One, I hope one day I'll I'll be like in a good place where I could have it, you know. Okay. Why do you think you would you would recklessly spend I, on it? I don't think so, but it's just the fact that I have it there, to knowing like, oh, I can that thing that I want to do, I could probably do it right, right now. Oh shit! Yeah. I know. Um, if I yeah, if I want to hop on a first class flight, <laughs> Dude, you right. know what I'm saying. So I I don't know if the temptation <laughs> is good for me. Well, that's good. That's good. You're disciplined enough not to do it. Mm-mm. I'm the other way. I got it sitting, burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah. Ready to make a move. Um, anyone in your family own a convertible? If so, what kind? Uh, so, um, they, my dad at one point purchased a old school Volkswagen. Okay. Um, because it was like always his dream. I think he had one as a kid, and like he wanted, you know, he was going through something. So he was like, "I'm going to purchase." 
uh, an old school one, and it it was literally the worst purchase. I mean, he bought it in California, drove it back to Las Vegas, and it broke down on the way uh, right after he purchased it. So we had that sitting in, in the, the gr- it, uh, like it, on the um, driveway for for many Ooh, years. That's Ooh. a tough look. Yeah. It's a bad look for a DA. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't on the grass, right? It was no, on the driveway. No, no, it was in the driveway. All right, the grass yeah, is even worse. Were the tires all full? Were was there flat tires? No flat tires. Was there a cover over it or half over it? Um, no. Co- it, it um it the convertible part has that like black cut yeah like sure a, um so yeah that that was it just okay. bacon in the Vegas sun mm-hmm. for a couple of years my our ping pong table had a cover over it though outside um no it was in the garage you had a ping pong table in the garage mm-hmm. could you park a car in the garage or no the ping you pong could table. park a car in the garage so you had a two car garage mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet you guys have a pool we had a pool in ground yep what kind, what was your mom and dad whipping around in when you were a kid. What did they drive? Uh, well, I think my dad. So my mom had one of those vans that had the wood on the side of it. Yeah, she did. Shout really? out to the Woody. My, yeah, my mom. Yeah. My mom drove minivans for a while. As a judge, she's no, whipping no, no, around this in that. When she was a lawyer. So like when she okay. So when my mom and dad met, my mom was a a, a a TV news reporter and my dad was a prosecutor. And then my mom ended up going to law school. Okay. And then she became a lawyer. And then when damn. My, and then my dad and her got married and they opened up a law firm together. Damn. So um, these are smart, learned people. Yeah. So then, um, like as we got older, the cars got better. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. She the wood panel um, van. I'll <laughs> never forget that. Yeah. Shit. We had that. Like we had that. Like maroon one with the yeah. wood panel. That's. No I think there was red tints on it too. I'm not lying. Yeah. Anybody ever drive a Lexus? Yeah. Any yeah, Lexus yeah, yeah. zipping around? They were, they were. They had a Lexus. Early 2000s. We're talking. Yeah. With yeah, and then probably recently, I feel like they have one. Nice, I like that. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Go back and forth. It's, it's like crazy. A, I know. The education's ridiculous. I'm like classy, trashy. It's like it, there's a there's a version of like classy, trashy, which I think is like Vegas. Yeah. What was your first concert? Uh, New Kids on the Block, baby. Okay. That's outside. Right. Outside. Uh, so it was outside. My aunt took me. It was. I just Ooh. remember there being hay. I don't know why there was hay. <laughs> okay. How much older is you than your aunt? How much older is your aunt than you? Um, I don't know. Like, like was she an adult and you were a kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's mm. a tough look. Do you use scented trash bags? Uh, reluctantly, because like I'm, I'm more of a. I don't like scented anything. Like any, like I don't like my trash to smell like. Something, something else out, like yeah. scented trash what about scented candles you like scented candles uh my dad does i think they like make me kind of nauseous okay and also i have cats three cats um because i'm unwell and um <laughs> and i'm worried that the uh, to leave an open flame near them did you have pets growing up yes what'd you have dogs okay and we had a bird. We had some birds. My mom went through a phase. Were that were that were any of them loose birds? No loose birds, but um, she had a bird die in her hand, and I remember that day. That was, that was it had like a heart attack <laughs> in her Christ. hand. Um, it's a tough day when the bird <laughs> yeah. when the bird goes. Yeah. Did any of the birds talk? Yes, uh, one said, "Pretty bird," Whoa. and it would whistle. <laughs> it was a parakeet. Mm-hmm. Oh, a parakeet. Mm-hmm. You know, when you go to Petco, you can get one for like five bucks. <laughs> You know, sure. You can buy Might all their. Well. You can buy all their brothers and sisters. For like, Any fish tanks at the house growing up? Uh-huh. My dad, my dad. That was like his flex. Like when he, like he was like <laughs> the tiger shark in he there was somewhere. Like, <laughs> that I had a fish tank. Like eventually, like my dad got a big one. Um, and he would have saltwater fish. Oh man! You know, like that was a flex for him. Like that was like, oh, he's doing good. You know. Were that your was, parents waterbed people by any chance? <laughs> I don't think we had water beds now. Okay. I wanted one as a kid, but I never got one. Any never bunk did. beds as a kid? No bunk beds. No bunk beds. Hmm. What about injuries as a kid? Oh yeah. What'd you break? Uh in basketball, I broke my um my ankle. I popped a tendon and tore a ligament. Okay. Um, and then I broke my wrist in basketball. Hmm. And then I broke my wrist in college, a boxer's fracture. Okay. What were you doing? 
I punch something. Yeah, <laughs> that's when you put you when you punch something incorrectly. So I um, so when I, <laughs> it's funny because like I didn't tell my parents the truth. I I told them it's I slipped. This bone here. I know. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I told them I slipped up the stairs, <laughs> <laughs> which they knew. Like when I got diagnosed with a boxer fracture, they're like, yeah, yeah that's uh, you slipped up. That the doesn't stairs. that doesn't add up. Yeah. The evidence. You were tuning somebody up. That and a cab door got me. It was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Huh. Do you know any of the lyrics to the rap battles from Eight Mile? To the rap battles, uh, Papa Doc isn't that what that guy's yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And Rab- White Rabbit or whatever. B Rabbit. B Rabbit. B-ra- B-rabbit. <laughs> Maybe if he threw it on, I could start. I would start spitting. Probably. I just wasn't sure. Some people have them like tattooed in their brain. Oh, that's hilarious. Not saying me or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep with your mouth open. If I'm so tired, uh. Like, I remember on the plane the other day, I woke myself up snoring. Mm-hmm. So I, my mouth was open for sure. Yikes. Sleep with a fan on you? I sleep with the air at like 69 degrees, no matter if it's winter or summer. Really? Like yeah. that. Nice. You like it freezing? Yeah. Well, how many pillows? Multiple pillows? I have, so, I, I, I have so many pillows on the bed right now. One between your leg? Do you hold one on the side? I have um, a body pillow that goes um, oh. against like the headboard. I, I'm just stoked I recently got, like, within the last year, a headboard. Like, to me, that's my, that's a fish, that's that my is, fish that's, tank. That's, that's been it. <laughs> was, yeah. the, was the mattress in the box spring usually on the floor? Um, I ha- So I, I had a mattress on a, a platform. Um, I didn't, and when, I, when we moved into our new place, I didn't realize, like, your bed is supposed to have a platform, mm-hmm. and then I got one, and I was like, "Oh wow, this bed is actually really comfortable." <laughs> it's actually like, a really good I was bed. talking shit about the bed for so long, <laughs> but then I realized, like, I didn't—I just didn't have a complete bed. Yes. <laughs> I, had, I had half a bed. Yeah, this bed um, stinks. I only—I have yeah. So I—I I, I got my first headboard um, since since uh since I think like since I had a headboard in call in the dorm room. Yeah, you know? gotcha. Calling a box spring a platform. Yeah, is yeah. hilarious. No I just, yeah. Um, anyone in your family own a standalone hot tub? <laughs> See, the thing in Vegas is, um, ev- like pools, everyone, right? yeah, it's so hot there. You, you, you can't survive without one. Like, no, um, and they're all built in the ground. Yeah. Okay. Imagine the AC in your house was probably pretty spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. My, sure my dad's also pride. a big, my dad's also a big, um, door open windows open kind of person. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite candy bar? Ooh, um, gosh, I haven't had like I feel like I haven't had a candy bar in so long. Um, I like Snickers, classy, but right up the middle, cold. Ooh, mm, have you ever had one cold? Yeah, of They're, course. Yeah, it's way better. Fantastic. Kid's um, pretty classy. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> How old were you when the when the last time you went to the pediatrician? Were you one of those weirdos that went till they were like 22? <laughs> yeah. Really. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I still remember going to a pediatrician in like I feel like high school. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, look. yeah, yeah. Girl Scouts? Yeah, but I got kicked out. Um Nice. Yeah. Kicked I, out of the Girl Scouts. Yeah. I mean, also my mom was the one who was really selling like she was the one who was my dealer, you know, like dealing the cookies and stuff. Really? She would take the orders to her her work which is all like you know successful people and uh, probably cleaned up yeah um what'd you get kicked out for i just i just was like a trouble i just wasn't gotcha I just, yeah I, I the troublemaking phase yeah, i just <laughs> oh, I, get, I was not very cop good two at, boxes of taglons on because tickets disappeared <laughs> i was just not good at uh at girl scouting <laughs> will you buy clothes wear them and then return them uh no i i usually i usually wear them okay yeah Hmm. Do you put your feet on the coffee table at the house? Oh yeah, I'm sick. Like I'll put my feet uh, like on the table in other people's houses. Whoa! Yeah, but I I don't even I'll do realize. It sometimes. I don't even realize. Like I was at one of the clubs last night. I put my feet up on a chair and I was like, ooh, I sh-, yeah, like I caught myself doing yeah. that. Um, and then I realized like when I put my feet up like at home on the coffee table, that's exactly the same place I also eat sometimes. Yeah. So, do I'm, you like, keep super- your shoes on in the house? Uh. No, we take our shoes. We try to take our shoes off at the entrance. Okay. Do you yeah. guys have a kitchen table at the house? Yeah, but it was from the previous owner, like the previous people who lived there. Do you eat most of your meals on the couch at the coffee table? It depends on the meal. Okay. Yeah, and it also depends on like, am I? Wa- yeah, it depends on the meal. And do we cook? 
sometimes lately I've been because of uh, my schedule I've been ordering in a lot but we try to we try to cook sometimes okay yeah okay what grocery store did you go to out there when I'm balling, it's definitely Irwan. But I had to work well, myself up. I had to work myself up to that. Because like when you go into Irwan, it's not just a regular grocery store. It's a fucking runway. There are no ugly people allowed. Like it's only hot people. And um, and like everyone is a celebrity. That's like where they, you know. So if you want to network, go to Irwan. You, know? <laughs> you want to make it in LA. Deal. You want to make it in LA, just stand by the juice. <laughs> The fifteen dollar juice bottle. I think Potter was selling. Us like out. literally, they sell these immunity shots, which I think are probably six dollars, and it's like that's my entire paycheck, literally, right here. Yeah. So Jeez. that's awesome. Um, you believe what they're charging for grapefruit? But also, right? can I just say that Trader Joe's is fucking amazing? Yep. You could literally um, buy uh, three weeks worth of food for it's forty dollars. It's crazy. And the snacks are so lit. Snacks are awesome. The stuff that they put together yeah. is really good. Yeah, I love Trader Joe's. I don't know how they're making any money. Um, I, I don't know, because everything comes from Monrovia, California, which when you look, like, if you look at, like, I'm like, what is happening in this town? You know what I mean? Like, what's happening? Everybody here? walking around in Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hmm. Have you ever owned a Chia Pet? Um. I don't think I've owned a Chia pet, pet, but my mom one time for Valentine's Day got my sister and I Furbies. Ooh, that was big back in the day. It was, but like it wouldn't, it wouldn't like, it, it just wouldn't stop talking. So I threw it off, I threw it off the house, like I threw it out, I threw it off the house. Like, yeah. You Still, murdered it. This it girl's did. twisted. Yeah. I know. And yeah, car ran over it. <laughs> and it still Twice. talked. No, it still talked. Uh, do you like popping other people's pimples? Ugh. I make him pop mine though. Okay. Yeah. I always, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, ugh, that stuff grosses me out. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I, I can't believe there's entire television shows like celebrities. There's so, just, yeah. I'm hooked on it. Yeah. I oh, love it. God. There's people who got famous for unpopping yeah. multiple. Yeah. Ever swam in a river? Yeah. How do you feel about quail eggs? I won't eat those. <laughs> I don't, I, there's something weird, like the size of them. Yeah. They're strange. Yeah. I don't know. When was the last time you were in a wave pool? Okay, so in Vegas they had this um this water park called Wet and Wild. Nice. And uh they had a wave pool and um I almost drowned there. Ooh. Yeah. Wave pools take a lot of people out yeah. every year. To find almost drowned. Lifeguards came in and got you. I didn't it wasn't the wave pool that I almost drowned. There's one that just like it was like it would go in a circle and um it was it had like a current and I think I got like dragged down. And someone had to like pull me up and save me, essentially. Hmm. Yeah. Any lifeguards ever have to save you in the ocean? Um, no lifeguards had to save me in the ocean. No, thank God. Any shark bites in your family? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. Do you sleep with some sort of weapon near you? Um, I feel like anything can be a weapon if you want it to be. <laughs> like that was a, that was a, that, 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 that's an answer of a girl who's done time. <laughs> yeah. No. I feel like, you know, I cuz I think about that, I'm like, you know, if if someone were to break into my place, like what would I what would I go for? And mm -hmm. I'm just a savage. Like I would I would just pick up anything heavy if it's like a lamp or okay. uh, or like even a remote, you, you know, Furby. Uh, a remote? anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll find anything those heavy remotes they can cause. I'll take yeah. my my cell phone. I mean, it's one of those universal remotes. I'll take the the you. Apple cord and tie them up like any okay. anything can be a weapon. Anybody in your family with a birthday on a holiday? No, but my best friend growing up was born on 9-11. Whoa. Yeah. Never forget. Yeah. Hmm. And I always remember her birthday, so. Of course. Obviously. Have you ever written your name in wet cement? Cement. Um, wet cement. Um, no. I've Well, I've chalk. I've like chalk. I've done chalk on the cement. Okay. Or, no, that's, that's good, clean fun. Yeah. That's, um, that's, that's, it's okay. It's yeah. called being a kid, all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Don't have to feel bad for that. Yeah. Uh, have you ever gone ghost hunting? <laughs> ghost hunting? I mean, no, I, I don't think I've specifically gone hunting for ghosts. Okay. Okay. Um, that would be ghost hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone in your family smoke a pipe? Um, I smoke a pipe. A weed pipe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I meant not like a tobacco. pipe. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Well, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think. I was trying to think if my grandpa like smoked a, like out of a pipe or something. Yeah. yeah. I think I mean kids clean, man. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Not <laughs> do you own your own bowling ball? 
No bowling. I don't. I don't. But I do enjoy bowling. Do you have name brand luggage? Um, recently I got away. Uh, the way is the good. The away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently. Mm. This is all this classy stuff is like new to uh, my. Sure, it's like, sure. Gotcha. I just want your followers to know, like, I'm newly classy. Like, yeah. I've been trash. You know. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been involved in a class action lawsuit? <laughs> no, but I get those things in the mail where it's like you may be entitled to compensation if you took this birth control during the years of sure, you know. Yeah. Hmm. What kind of car do you have now? Recently, uh, after Jackass, I got a BMW. Yeah. Yep. I uh, I I I never had a BMW, so uh, this is great. Oh, that's awesome. At least yeah. you bought it. We bought it. Yeah. This kid's all right. Yeah. Doing what kind good. of air freshener are you kicking around in there? Weed, bro. <laughs> that sticky, icky, icky. Yeah. Beat it, old man. Yeah. Keep magazines in the bathroom? Uh, No, not currently. No, no, no. Anybody receive mail at your house that doesn't live there, but not by accident? Um, You got a friend? Anybody using your address? I have had a friend send stuff to my address, for sure. Yeah. Nice. So the associates might not be as classy. Oh, no, I don't discriminate. Do you buzz the flight attendant? Um, I, I, no, I didn't. No, I don't. I mean, mm-hmm. they'll walk by and I'll wave them. Any wind chimes on your porch? Yeah. Oh, My dad is obsessed with, like. <laughs> That's a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, growing up, my grandparents in LA, they had uh, wind chimes. So that was like on their porch and stuff. That was something that, um. I also realize she's not going to fold to our questioning. She grew up with a fucking judge and yeah, a DA. No kidding. Yeah. She's used to this hard, this, these hard interrogations. <laughs> We're going to have to waterboard this one to get anything out of her. I'm ready. Let's do it. <sighs> think she's pretty classy, man. Yeah, not super. I. She walks in both worlds here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's the thing about me is like I do feel like I, I, you I, can. I'm yeah, comfortable. You can, you can acclimate in both. I'm I can comfor- do as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're on a drone. My dad owns a drone. He's become a drone. This guy person. sounds like he fucking rocks, by the <laughs> Dude, way. Oh, my, so so Matt and him will just they just that's their they just drone together. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh yeah. You know karate? So my mom put me in karate <laughs> class. Jesus. For, Cause so, so like as I feel a like kid, they were training you to be an assassin. They well they You're like the black widow. They were trying to like figure out like what to do with me, I think. And I was a tomboy, so I did enjoy sports and 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 not like your typical girl like i was always playing soccer or, or um i did taekwondo and i got to what orange belt um and then i felt weird doing the fake hayas it felt like i was like a, <laughs> like appropriating a culture or something um uh-huh. and uh and so yeah I, I i think i got to like a the second level orange belt and was like okay my career is <laughs> that's it for me it's over you fall asleep with the tv on uh, sometimes, sometimes I will. Mayonnaise, Hellman's or uh, Miracle Whip? If I had to choose, it would be Hellman's. Good, good, good. You ever pull a fire alarm? Um, no. Eat I don't a- want the fine. <laughs> Eat an egg with two yolks in it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Favorite salad dressing? Oh, God. Um, I like, um, is it, is it, is it French? The bright, the bright red one that's like basically ketchup with like sugar in it. Yeah, it's that's the, what it's called. Yeah, French dressing. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Talk about a big step back right there. I, I'm proud of it, dude. It's fucking, I, my dad. Well, it's not Catalina. Catalina's the trash. Oh, wait, is that, okay. Which one is the creamy one? Like, I like the bright red one. French? That's Catalina. Okay, no, then Fre- I'm a sicko. I like Catalina, though. <laughs> I'm a real whack job. Yeah. I got nothing else, man. Yeah, I mean, 50-50. Walks in both worlds. 50-50 walks in both worlds. But I'm pushing for class. And let me tell you something. That stuff that you overcame as a kid, that's pretty fucking awesome. Oh, thank you. And your family also knows the Pawn Stars. So that's like a... Okay, so that's 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 an AYG first. We typically ask, have you watched it? She knows them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know them, but my dad my dad knows them, yeah. I you could get a hold of him if you needed to. That's yeah, <laughs> like if I had, had to get rid of a civil war gun, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Wolfson. Oh. Rachel, you want anything? What the folks so out there to know? Oh, uh, well, Plug first off, thank you, thank of you course. guys for having me. Uh, yeah, just follow me on social media at Rachel Wolfson on Instagram at Wolfie Comedy on Twitter. Uh, that's where I post show dates. And um, Matt and I will be doing a show if any if any of your listeners are out in LA. We're March eleventh at uh, the Virgil. Fantastic. Um, and there's tickets um, online you can purchase. So come out. 
Fantastic. Thank Love you it. so much. Congratulations on the movie. Thank yeah. you guys. We're Thank so you. happy for you. It's so fucking cool. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, we're all over the road. We're announcing more dates this week uh, on the West Coast, so get those tickies yeah. out there. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.